is up awesome people, and welcome back to my Pokemon training card game card opening series. So in our last episode we opened up the Mega Lucario collection box, and with that we got this badass looking awesome Mega Lucario figurine, so that was awesome, probably the best part of the whole box actually. Um, the card that came with it was actually from an old uh, collection or expansion. Um, I actually did not find out which one it was because I kind of just jumped straight to this video straight afterwards, but I probably will mention it somewhere down the track probably. Um, and it also came with four booster packs, one from X and Y, one from Flashfire, and two from Furious Fist. And which leads us to this episode, and I did mention in the last episode to what we're opening. Um, it's the Ancient Power Box, um, I suppose you say box collection. So redundant. <laughs> um, anyways, um, this one comes with... Uh, the special hollow foil cards that you cannot get outside of the ancient power box. So it comes with Fossil Research, it comes with Tyrant Tyrantrum, Amorus, and Amora cards, plus some booster packs as well. I think Flashfire, Furious Fist, and most likely XY. That's my guess anyway. Anything else? And a quick guide to get you started. So, as you can probably tell, it's a fossil orientated box. So very similar to how the Pyro box went, it gave you a guide on how to build a fire deck. This one's going to build you a step-by-step -step guide through how to build a fossil deck, which is pretty cool. They didn't actually give you one in 5th gen. They, I think they covered it in 4th gen, because fossils... I, no, sorry, they weren't. They were introduced in the very first expansions uh, for 1st first, uh, first gen. They, they didn't really cover it all too much, plus they did change a little bit. Um, I know in 4th gen you actually played the fossil cards on your bench. They actually had their own health indicator and all that, but they didn't have any attacks. And uh, you couldn't actually send them in as you're active, I don't think. I can't remember, it's been so long since I've played. But anyways, um, the first thing that we see is, just threw it away, um, is a quick guide to fossil Pokemon. So you get this little instruction thing, kind of similar to how the fire um, uh, pyro thing worked. Um, so it just goes through and gives you a few tricks, so I'm just going to read them out to you. Um, enjoy my awesome monotone reading. Um, so quick guide to fossil Pokemon. Fossil Pokemon are mysterious, even by Pokemon standards. With their ancient histories and powers from an earlier age, these restored Pokemon don't even enter play in the Pokemon TCG the same way other Pokemon do. You usually have to use a special fossil card to get them onto the bench. This quick guide reveals some of the secrets and some of the signs behind these unique Pokemon, so read on. Uh, so, fossil science tricks. Uh, the ancient power box comes with two cool water type Pokemon, Amora, which is XY Furious Fist 25 out of 111, and Amorus 26 of 111, as well as two great fighting type Pokemon, Tyrant and Tyrantrum, which is 61 of 62 of 111. Even better, it comes with a very helpful supporter card, Fossil Research, which is 92 of 111, but what do these cool cards do, and how do they work together? Let's find out. Alright, so Fossil Researcher, which is that card there, if you get past the glow. So that's him there, the good old Cholly chap. Uh, normally you have to use a Jaw Fossil, which is 94 of 111, or a Sail Fossil, 98 of 111, uh, to put Tyrant or Remora onto your bench. Here's how it works. When you play the Fossil card, you look at the bottom seven cards of your deck. If you find the right card there, Tyrant for Jaw Fossil, or Remora for Sail Fossil, you can put it onto your bench. Of course, this means you need to have a little bit of luck. But the fossil researcher commands the power of science. And that gets faster results. When you play this supporter card, you can search your deck for two or more, or two tyrant, or one of each. And put them directly onto your bench and shuffle your deck and get ready to rampage. Which is pretty OP, in my honest opinion. You get two of each if you're running just one in a water deck or something. Or two tyrants if you're running a, fire de a fighting deck. Or if you're both, if you're running a multicolor deck. Um, so looking at Amorus and Tyrantrum, so check out Amorus's Ice Shield ability. It reduces damage to your water Pokemon, whether you're active or bench. So as long as they have water energy attached, uh, they can add up quickly. An Icy Wind attack has fairly hefty energy costs, one water and three energy. Has three energy of any type, it, but it does 70 damage to the opposing Pokemon, makes it sleep. Ice is nice. So... That's the Amorus card there, and plus you will need Amor uh, Amorus and Amora. No, sorry, Amora there and Amorus there. I hate webcams inverted for me. Um, anyways, um, Tyrantrum. 
so Tyrantrum there, Tyrant there. Uh, the Ancient Power Box contains one of these Ancient Behemoths, and it's 150 health beast. It has 2 up attack for 1 fighting and 2 energy of any type, which does 60 no damage normally and powers up to 150 damage if the opponent's active Pokemon has any special ad energy attached to it, like Double Colorist, which is pretty common, or Strong Energy, or even Herbal Energy. Um, that attack, 150 damage is even enough to knock out a lot of Pokemon in one hit. Its other attack, Giga Impact, does 150 damage every time, but it does require 2 Fighting Energy and 2 any Energy Cards of any type and prevents a Tyrantrum from attacking on the next turn. Stick with Chew Up if you're battling a player who uses lots of Special Energy. And other Pokemon you can use, uh, if you want a few more Pokemon and Trainer Cards for your deck, one option might be 4 copies of Hairy Armor, number 52 of 111 plus Full Heal, 93 of 111, Lucario EX, 54 from 111, Finally, consider a fast attacking basic Pokemon like Hitmonlee, 47, 111, or Makahita, 51, 111, which both have decent amount of HP. They'll buy you in a little time and deliver some damage. And then on the back, we've got some fossil deck basics. So to build a fossil deck, you need a good mix of ancient Pokemon and modern science. As a starting baseline, use about 3 basic water energy and 8 basic fighting energy, which is almost the standard build I suppose. Would make sense, but how are you going to use other cards? That's my question. Anyways, 4 copies of each of your favourite restore Pokemon and 16 trainer cards to keep up your hand fully filled and your opponent off balance. Use strong energy uh, for 104 of 111 in place of fighting energy if you have it. Include fossil researcher, tyrant, tyrantrum, amora and moras from this box and don't go over 60 cards in your deck. And then more great cards from X and Y Furious Fist. Uh, so you can fill your fossil theme deck. Uh, you may want to look at a few of these cards from your latest Pokemon TCG expansion. You've got Fighting Stadium, which is 90 of 111. Uh, is a trainer card that, uh, that stays in play and makes all fighting Pokemon do extra damage to opposing Pokemon EX cards. That's poss probably great for you. Just remember if your opponent is playing with fighting type Pokemon, it boosts their attack too. So Stadium and card combined really nicely with Lucario EX and Strong Energy. And speaking of Lucario EX, they suggest that as well, which is 54 of 111. Comes with three attacks instead of the usual two, which is pretty interesting. I actually pulled this one digitally. Uh, Missile Jab is one fighting energy for 30 damage that ignores resistance. Corkscrew Smash, uh, bleh, sorry, Corkscrew Smash is two energy for 60 damage, plus some nice card drawing. And Somersault Kick, which is three fighting energy for 100 damage. This Pokemon is full, fully battle ready. Strong Energy, of course, is the last recommended card, which 104 of 111 is a special energy card, so you can only include four of them in your deck. But wow, is it great for fighting type decks. It has 20 damage to the attacks of any fighting Pokemon this energy is attached to. Combined with Fighting Stadium and Opposing Pokemon EX, your fighting Pokemon will do 40 more damage with each attack. And speaking of that, if you want to go a little one step further, you can always include Maychamp to your deck as well. Uh, that also gives an ability that allows you to boost your fighting type Pokemon by an extra 20 as well. Funny enough, they didn't include that. As for the Ancient Power deck, uh, this deck is with, built with a fair bit of speed and with some real fighting... Uh, sorry, start that again. This is a deck with a fair bit of speed and with some real fighting type knockout potential. You already got 5 of these cards from Ancient Power Box, see if you can find and trade for the rest. So I'm going to show them on screen. So if we just want to pause and write them down or something, that's the Ancient Power deck. So two Amora, two Amoras, four Tyrant, four Tyrantrum. So obviously going for the power from Tyrantrum. Makahita, Hariyama, three Lucario EX, one Mega Lucario EX, four Fossil Researcher, four Evo Soda, four Professor Sycamore, four Shauna, four, two... Superior Energy Retrieval, 4 Ultra Ball, 4 Professor Slitter, 3 Fighting Stadium, 2 Water Energy, 4 Fighting Energy, and 4 Strong Energy. It's a pretty stable deck, I suppose. I can think of much better ways to improve that, actually. But that is the, I suppose, standard Ancient uh, Fossil... What's it called? Ancient Power deck. That's, I suppose that's one way of building it. There's many other ways you can build it. Just build on that one. Um, really up to the creativity of your own mind. Alright, so let's have a look at these cards. And you've got to be kidding me. I've got to get these out of this plastic as well. Ugh, wish they did give these a little bit better. I can't get the plastic off. There we are. Alright, so 
We only got three booster packs. Really? We've got two Furious Fist and one Flash Fire. Not four. Hmm. Alright, so there's are our cards. It's going to be really fun getting these off. Let's see what I got. Oh, that was easy. Easiest one by date. So there's the Fossil Researcher. I think that is... Oh, I've forgotten what these um, foils are called, but they're pretty cool. I think they're called like the sparkling, I call them sparkling hollows because they've got like little sparkle effects in the background there. Um, I think they're called alternative hollows to be honest, but I can't remember the technical term for it. But regardless, a fossil researcher, search your deck to up for two of any combination, so I can't read that. Two in any combination of a moral or a tyrant, put them into your bench, shuffle your deck afterwards. So it is the superior version of Sale of Jaw Fossil if you don't want to go through all that. To get the cards, you can just play this. So that's that cool dude. Let's see if I can get these two out. There's one, there's two, three. Of course, the last card. There we go. I was going to say, I'm going to struggle with the last card. So, along with that, we've got our Amora and Amoris. Let's pick them up. Alright, so there's Amora. So Stampede and Aurora Beam is its two moves. And of course these are hollow as well, I think. Yep, they're hollow as well. So hollow there, I don't know if you can be able to see it. They're a little bit hard to see on water Pokemon. I've got Amoris as well, so it's got Ice Shield which does protect it uh, with any Pokemon with water energy attached to it. So, um, Okay, it only applies to water Pokemon. Usually you can get away with it and put uh, water energy on any type of Pokemon, it still counts, but this one actually um, specifies it has to be a water Pokemon. And all damage is reduced by 20, so that is really good. And of course, Icy Wind, 70 damage, uh, 1 water energy, and 3 energy cards of any other type required. Your opponent is active Pokemon is now asleep as well, so that is a pretty good move. Good for stalling. Uh, next up is a Hollow Tyrant, Tyrant, Gnaw and Crunch are its moves. And for a basic, that is pretty good damage for Crunch there. And plus, you will discard an energy card attached to your opponent, uh, opponent's active Pokemon too. And of course, Tyrantrum, which is apparently the Mega Beast, uh, two up, sixty base damage. Um, if what is the condition again? Um, if it has any special energy attached to it, it does 90 more damage doing 150 damage. Of course, Giga Impact, which goes straight for the 150, but does require quite a lot of energy cards. Plus, you cannot attack the next turn either. So, that is quite a beastly card. So, no doubt there'd be a lot of people using that card. In their deck, especially the counter, Evangel EX, or any of those annoying EX cards that have like special energy boosting. Uh, attacks that will definitely be handy because double color S is pretty common in metagame. Alright, so booster packs, let's move on to these. So, first up is Flash Fire. Actually, the foil cards look really cool. Like, I'm looking at them now in the light, and I think they'd be making foil cards a hell of a lot better than what they have in the past. Very interesting. Anyways, we're starting off this one with Spritzy, uh, Litleo, Sneasel. For baby, Fletching, Gudra, Reverse Solo, Pidgeot, who's now got a Mega as well, which is pretty cool. More hair for the win. Uh, Sneasel, Metapod, Milk Tank, and that's the final Pokemon for that one. And Flash Fire is that one. Alright, so that leaves us with Furious Fist. So let's quack open these ones. Alright, so starting off with Magma, Pikachu, Clefairy, Torchic, Pancham. Now this is alternative art Pancham as well. It's a shame, I thought Pancham might get a dark variation of it, but it doesn't. It's a bit of a shame. Uh, we've got Battle Reporter Reverse Holo, Politoed, who's got King Song. So ignore all... Uh, ignore all... Energy in the attack cost of your each of your Poliwag, Poliwell, and Poliwrath's attacks. Okay, so if that's what I think it means, it means that only costs one water energy card instead of two at uh, three. Interesting. I need to research into that one. That might be a pretty good card. 
Hyper Voice doing 70 damage, and if that only requires one Water Energy card. Damn. Interesting. One to look forward? I need to look into that one. Uh, training Center. We have Hitmonlee and Machoke. Nice, that Polytoad is pretty interesting. And as I said, I'm going to do some research into that one because that sounds a little too OP in my honest opinion. If that ignores the colorist cards in the energy, Hyper Voice is pretty strong. It didn't include Poliwell, did it? Hold on, I'm going to read that again because if that includes Poliwell and Poliwell good, Oh, okay, it didn't actually include Polytoad, it just included Poliwag, Poliwhirl, Poliwrath. Okay, now it's not as OP as I thought, but if Poliwrath is pretty decent, then that's actually a really good card. But that does mean it's actually doing two evolutions as well, so there is a drawback to that one. Alright, so we've got Machop, Machop, sorry, Makahita, Gothita, Magma, Pikachu, uh, Minfu, Reverse Hollow, uh, Magmortar, Magmortar, Magmortar. Oh, you fiery beast! I think I've already drawn Magmortar, I can't remember, but that looks cool. Magmortar for the win. Uh, Mountain Ring, Axelga, and Omora is our last card. So I'll go figure I'll draw another one of them. Alright, so uh, that's it for that one. That went for quite some time, actually. But I hope you learned uh, something new about the fossils for 6th gen. Uh, I do like how they do have these quick guides. It beats what they had in 5th gen, that's for sure, unless I missed out on all of them. Um, but yeah, it's nice keeping in the loop and getting some hints and tips on how to run the decks. So if you're looking at using a fossil deck, now you know how to, hopefully. And with that, that's the end of this episode. So um, as always, thank you so much for taking time of your day to check out this video. If you haven't already, make sure to check out my previous episodes for both my physical and digital card openings. Uh, next episode, I won't be doing that tonight. I mean, like, recording it tonight. You guys will probably see this in, like, I know, a couple of days' time or maybe a week's time. I'm not really sh too sure when I'm going to upload this one. Uh, but on another recording night for me, when I'm feeling a little bit better, and I'm not so sleep-deprived either, um, I will do the booster pack, uh, booster boxes for Furious Fist. So get ready for lots and lots of booster pack openings. We're going to do a big marathon of it. So that'll be next episode. So until then, this is Lady Crimson saying ciao for now, but not forever. Ciao!